Well, what I'd like to do at this uh, special session is convey the excitement around BTK inhibitors and how far they brought us in being able to treat Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia. Uh, when you look at what's uh, been achieved in the last 10 years, it's unbelievable. We now have um, many BTK inhibitors, both covalent and non-covalent BTK inhibitors that are being uh, investigated. Some have already been approved. And I think what's exciting uh, for us is to see that uniformly these drugs are highly active, representing um, by themselves the most active single agents used to treat Waldenstrom's. And how we arrived here is actually been rational understanding what mid-88 does. Um, 95 to 97 percent of patients have a mutation in mid-88. And so being able to translate what mutated mid-88 does and learning that it activates BTK and that BTK plays a, a central role in the survival of Waldenstrom cells, um, it's, it's wonderful. This just shows you how genomics can lead to new drugs and improve patient care. But of course, there's also other important issues to talk about. What do we do with the patient with acquired uh, mutations that's progressing on BTK inhibitors? What do we do with patients who are intolerant to BTK inhibitors? And I think really this is an opportunity for us to be able to convey to the broader uh, community of doctors who work in the plasma cell malignancies uh, to know how to manage patients uh, with Waldenstrom's macroglobulinemia.